my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. I want to pray that God will have mercy upon us as a people, as nations, and forgive our iniquities and heal our land, you know, globally, worldwide, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Shall we pray? Our Father, we just want to thank you. We want to believe that, Lord, your grace, your mercy, your compassion, that, as, that is extant, we continue, Holy Father, to move your people, provoke your people, Holy Father, and drag us, drag your people to the foot of the cross. You are the one that created everybody. They are created by you. I decree in the name of Jesus Christ that, Lord, the mercy of God will prevail and flow over everyone, in Jesus' name, we want to decree, the Bible says, rebuke the company of the spearmen, the multitude of bulls, with the cast of the people. Till everyone submit themselves to pieces of silver. He said that, scatter them that delight in war. We want to decree that God will overrule the power of the wicked in all nations and cause their domineering power and evil agenda to break and scatter them. In Jesus' name, therefore we decree that over God overrule all the power of the wicked in all nations, all their domineering evil agenda be broken to pieces in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And then save them and bring them, Holy Father, into the saving knowledge of Christ, unhindered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says he will keep the, faith, the feet of his saints in 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 9. And the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. So we want to decree by the authority in the world. As they are hearing the gospel, as they are hearing the word of God, that everyone that is wicked, they will be silent in Jesus' name. And the feet of the saints will be kept stronger and stronger in the name of Jesus Christ. We'll be able to preach the gospel as we are being empowered, as we are being strengthened by the crusades in the name of Jesus Christ. By faith, total freedom, through faith in Christ Jesus has come all over the nation and it shall be sustained in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray by the authority in the word of God that the saints' feet will be kept. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will, this crusade will produce giants in the Lord. People that will really be able to stand with courage, with authority, to preach the gospel in the name of Jesus Christ. And pull down all the strongholds of the enemy all over the globe in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Say amen. And then in Isaiah 25 verse 7, it is written, And it will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people, and the veil that is spread over all nations. So I want to decree, as I find in the Lord thunder the gospel from the crusade ground, every covering in the face of the people, hiding on the scene, covering the, all kinds of corruption, wickedness, bloodshed, evil. Want to decree that the power of the gospel, the word of God is fire. The word of God is, you know, is hammer. The word of God is the sword. It will tear. It will burn every covering in the heart of the people and they will surrender themselves to the Lord joyfully enthusiastically in Jesus' name. Shall we pray now? That the power of God will flow through the word of God. In the name, and we tear any covering, anything that will hinder the effectiveness of the word of God in the heart of the people, and they are hearing the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everyone that is hear the word of God will yield themselves to the Lord by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, we pray. Say amen. I want a resounding amen. Everybody shout amen. Praise the Lord. Then we want to decree in Psalm 67 verse 4. Oh, let the nation be glad and sing for joy. For thou shalt judge the people righteously and govern the nation upon the earth. Seller. So we want to decree that they will hear the gospel 
with joy, with enthusiasm, and they will respond with singing. They will re respond with enthusiasm. They will respond with, with gladness. They that gladly receive the word were baptized. Everyone will respond to the glory of God. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone hearing it, they will respond. The president will respond. The governor will respond. The senators will respond. Members of the Congress will respond. The prime minister will respond. Name them. All the mayors, the Lord will touch them as they are hearing the word of God. And anyone in position of authority that is in any government, they will hear this word. And the Lord God will draw their heart to, to the saving knowledge of Christ and to know the Lord and to the foot of the cross. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. They will be dragged to the foot of the cross. In the name of Jesus Christ. We overthrow the, uh, Simon the sorcerer spirit. Simon the sorcerer man. Simon the sorcerer woman. Simon the sorcerer spirit. We overthrow them from their heart. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And they will receive the word of God. As a, as a gospelers, receive the word of God. In Jesus name we pray. Say amen. So I want to decree now. Because what the Bible says. In 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 1 to 4. I therefore is that first of all. Supplication, prayer, intercession and giving of time be made for all men. For kings and for all that are in authority. That we may lead a quiet and peaceable life. In all goodness and honor. For this is good and acceptable in sight of God our Savior. Who we have all men to be saved. In the mighty name, we want to decree that as our Father and the Lord thunder the gospel from the crusade ground, the, the, the lightning of salvation, of conviction for salvation, conviction for healing, conviction for sanctification, conviction for baptism of the Holy Spirit, conviction for deliverance, that the Lord God will provoke thirst in everyone hearing it in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and decree. Father divine, want to decree that, Lord, as our Father in the Lord, thunder the gospel in the name of the lightning, Holy Father, of conviction for salvation will flow into every heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Conviction that will provoke hunger for healing for those who are sick in the name of Jesus Christ, for those who are under oppression, the conviction to task for deliverance, the Lord God will provoke them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And you want to decree that the anointing of God, the power of God, will flow irresistible power, irrefutable, irrefutable power of the gospel. will flow as our Father and the Lord open his mouth wide. In the name of Jesus, anointing will flow. Power will flow. Authority. Victory. In the name of Jesus Christ. That no man can resist. That no demon can resist. That no, 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 no devil can resist. In the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Father, we are just asking fresh anointing. Upon our Father in the Lord, He will open up His mind. You will envelope Him with your power, with your fire. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, and as His preaches, Holy Father, that will burn every shaft in the heart of everyone, and they will surrender their life to the Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say a big amen. Amen.